Every year bodies are found in Louisiana so decomposed their identity is a mystery to this day. Last month, experts at LSU's Faces Lab explained their role in tracking down missing people. This time, they bring us into the world of cold cases and the unidentified. When skeletal remains are found in Louisiana, there's a good chance that they would end up at the LSU's Faces Lab. In our repository database, uh, we have approximately 185 unidentified. Forensic anthropologists like Janess Listy examined the bones for clues. We have some of the oldest unidentified cases that we have in the database uh, date to, I believe it's 1980, maybe 1979. Sometimes the experts have little to go off on. When the cases get cold, you know, there's always the possibility that they're going to fall out of the public awareness. Uh, and so that's one of the reasons why we like to have the images created. I uh, try to put faces to the faceless. LSU Faces Lab imaging specialist Larry Lividay is an artist. So always really wanted my art to serve some purpose other than you know, an aesthetic, an aesthetic end, purely aesthetic end. So kind of found that all here. With information provided by the forensic anthropologists, he is able to build an approximation of the person's face. Really what you're trying to do is you're trying to not only give them a face, but give them a voice that they no longer have. When a profile of an unidentified person is complete, it is posted on the lab's website. There, the public can sift through the pages of profiles, including online detectives. Behind our website is also a community, a community of citizen detectives or online sleuths um, who come together in an ethical way. Rachel Rosselet is a forensic psychologist at the organization Uncovered, a group compiled of mostly volunteers that help solve cold cases. We have a dedicated space within our community, which is uh, just for looking at the information on LSU faces or NamUs, and then trying to make matches against profiles of missing persons. Listy says internet sleuths have reached out in the past. They're looking for any possible matches and, and they, they spend a lot of time doing it. And we're thankful when the matches work but we get a lot of them that are false leads. Despite the extra work that comes with bad intel, Lizzie says they would not turn away a lead. Would we want it any other way? No, because you, you never know what lead is gonna pan out, but we do get way more false leads than we do positive leads. At the end of the day, the mission is the same. We're always excited. Um, it's, it's a victory anytime you know, anybody gets identified. To be able to really bring closure to families and identify and possibly forward criminal cases really is a big, big plus to me. We want to really give a face and the name and a story back to these cold cases. Ariel Salk, Fox 44 News.